Hi, this is Sridhar. Today I will be explaining about the row level triggers. As I explained in the previous session, the row level trigger, in row level trigger, the trigger body will be executing based on the number of times the records are affected. If there are, if there are totally, if there are 10 records are updated, then 10 times the trigger body will be executing. If there are only one record is getting affected, then only one time the trigger body will be executed. So the trigger body execution depends on the number of records getting affected. And if you want to create the row level trigger, then explicitly you have to mention for each row, for each row class inside the trigger body. If you are mentioning for each row inside the trigger body, then only it is a row level trigger. If you omit this, then it is a statement level trigger and the rollover trigger will not be fired if there are no records are affect affected. If zero records are affected then the trigger body will not be executed and we can use the correlation identifiers like colon old and colon new in the row level trigger. What is colon old and colon new? These are the qualifiers if you are inserting some value inserting a new value then you will be tracking both the old value and new value in the table for that record. So if you are inserting a new value, what about the old value? There is no old value. So colon old is nothing. No, there is no old value, but the new value. Yes. For insert operation colon new value exist colon new value exist. And what about the update statement? If you are updating some value, then already some value is there. So colon old means the old value value is there and colon new means the new value the newly updated value. So colon new for update is exist. And if you are deleting the existing value, the existing value is old value. So colon old is exist for delete. And what about the new value? There is no new value. After deleting the record, there is no new value. So for delete, there is no new qualifier, colon new qualifier. So basically all you will be using these qualifiers while writing row level triggers because in statement level qualifiers does not exist and when you are writing these qualifiers inside the trigger body you should prefix it by colon symbol colon old dot the column name means the old value of this column and colon new dot column name means the new value of this column and when you are using this qualifiers in the when class when condition let me go to the syntax in the syntax you will be having when condition if you are writing this qualifiers in the when condition then you should not use the colon symbol okay let me execute some sample programs to created for row level triggers just I want to show you how many times the trigger body is executed let me execute this I am writing the trigger before any update occurs on the gender column on the table students. Table is students and the column name is gender. Let me get jump into the students table. In the students table I have four records and the gender value is M M everything is M. Let me change some value to F. Okay, 103. Let me change 103 as F. Update students set gender equals F where yes number equals 103. And I am committing, checking it again. Yes, everything is same. Only 103 is F. Okay. And I am writing a trigger on this table students for the column gender and for each row means I am writing a row level trigger I am just printing the value before update means before update there are two values exist qualifiers one is the currently inserted value and the another one is the old value the previous value before update so you can track both these values the colon old means before update what the value of this column and colon new means what is the value of the what is the current value after update what what is the current value 
so you can find out both the values before updating and after updating what are the column values in row level triggers colon old dot s number that is student numbers old and new value and student name old and new value and gender old and new value but here in this trigger this trigger will be invoked only if there is any update on the gender column if you are updating any other column then this trigger will not be invoked okay let me execute it's compiled let me clear the output and i am going to update the students table and i am updating only the gender updating the gender gender uh, as female for the serial num stu sorry student number what is the student number any one or three is f so i want to change one or three as female let me change as one or three execute if i am executing then this trigger body should be executing based on the number of records getting affected how many records are affected after using this only one record is affected so only one time this trigger should be invoked let me see the output trigger executor on the students table the previous that is old value of student number old value of student name and old value of gender that is f and the new value new value of student number same new value of student name same and new value of gender which after update it is female in this way you can also use multiple update statement this single update statement will update multiple records three records it will be updating and i am updating the gender value as if it is m then male if it is f for female i am doing multiple update statements here how many records will be updating three records will be updating so let me see 1 2 4 and 5 1 2 4 and 5 1 2 4 and 5 let me change it as 5 otherwise only two records will be updating i am updating it's done if you see the output this is my new output how many times it is executed there are three records updated so three times it will be executing for the first record 1 or 2 this is a old value this is a new value this is on the old value and this is a new value and 1 or 5 m old value and 1 or 5 ram male is a new value so the row level trigger will be executing based on the number of records getting affected and all my records are also updated let me check it in the students table So all the records are updated this is all about the row level triggers we'll be discussing about some more example for row level triggers in the next session thanks for watching bye